thank you, thank you, thank you. You all made this day great. Um, I think Susan has a scale between like angelic chorus and a sad <laughs> trombone, and I'm not sure where this thing is going to fall I'm expecting, but I'm thinking the sad trombones have been largely kept at bay, and I thank each and every one of you for making that a thing. Please, if you would, go to either triscap.org slash camp slash survey, or just scan the QR code on the screen. You're going to see it again at the end, so if you, if you miss it right now, it's okay. And I'll send out an email to everybody who bought a ticket, bought a ticket. Yeah. But I want to close with a quote. Great things are not accomplished by those who yield to trends and fads and popular opinion. Jack Kerouac. I heard this quote last weekend. Does anybody else listen to the This Week in Virology podcast? Okay, I picked it up during the pandemic lockdown times to try to keep an idea of like what the hell's going on in the world. Um, every week, though, I, I still listen to the Saturday clinical update episodes that they have with Dr. Daniel Griffin. He's an infectious disease doc with uh, New York Presbyterian and Optum and some other health sy systems, too. And he drops in once a week and gives an, uh, basically a, an update for clinicians. I'm not a clinician. <laughs> I am a muggle. 80% of this stuff washes over me. I, I'm like a, a medical science curious muggle. And I thought, that's a great question. I'm totally appropriating that to use during Skeptic Camp next weekend. And also, this gets me off the hook because I haven't prepared anything else. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, but I'm a skeptic. So I'm going to check this out and make sure that it's properly attributed oh, no. and that I can say more about it. Great. So I go to WikiQuote and I look up our friend Jack Kerouac. And I remember enough of the quote to start command effing and finding in the page the quote that I'm looking for. Guess what part of the page it takes me to? Misattributed. Oh, goodness. Oh. The quote is genuine, but it is not from Jack Kerouac. It's from somebody called Kuralt, who oh. was the host of a CBS show called On the Road. Yeah. If I'm not oh, mistaken. and there you get the comment. Oh, right. Charles Kowal, yeah. yeah. People confuse Kowal and Kerouac because they're both associated well, on the road, on the with road. things called on the road. Yeah. Yeah. This is how these things get out of control oh, right. and how they come back to me through an information ecosystem that I'm pretty careful about. And this is not me like tooting my own horn that, oh, I... I got something right that somebody I trust as an information source go on. This is me like, if I hadn't checked this, I probably would have given you this quote yeah. with the wrong attribution. Right. So this is just a reminder. I got it right this time, but I get it wrong a lot, right? I've tried to get better at being wrong. <laughs> That's kind of what I think about skepticism as doing for me. It, it helps me insert a middle pause before I reflexively believe a thing. Thank you, Melanie. Yeah. So that's all I've got to say. Um, we could use a lot of help cleaning up this room and getting it in ship shape. Please scan the QR code, take our survey. We want to hear your thoughts. Again, thank you. This has been fantastic. We're adjourning to the uh, hub at 545. Transfer Co. Food Hall. At 545 is when we'll start there. But only when this room is clean. But only up. when this room is clean. Yeah. So no escaping. <laughs> I would like for us to give Jeff a hand. Yay. He's been absolutely fabulous. Thank you. 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 Thank you.